Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started, make sure that you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to the channel where you'll be notified when new videos are released. Feel free to share this with your colleagues and coworkers and also make a comment Make a comment on this video if I'm on the right path, I'm not on the right path, or if there's something you'd like to see me make a video on to share with your guys in the field. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be talking about personal accountability, or also safety, a personal and collective responsibility. Today we gather not merely as individuals, but as stewards of safety in the construction industry. Each one of us plays a crucial role in ensuring that every work site remains a bastion of security and well-being. Let me start by stating a fundamental truth. Ultimately, you are responsible for your safety. It's a mantra we've all heard, perhaps so often it it risk losing its resonance. But today I urge you to truly internalize these words, to let them guide every action, every decision, and every interaction you have on the job. When you step onto a construction site, you're not just a worker, you're a guardian of safety. Your actions, your choices, they ripple out, affecting not only your own well being, but the well being of everyone around you. It's a weighty responsibility, but it's also a privilege, a chance to make a tangible difference in the lives of your colleagues, your community, and yourself. But personal accountability doesn't stop at looking out for number one. No, it extends far beyond the confines of self-interest. It's about recognizing that we're all interconnected that our safety is bound up with the safety of those we work alongside. Imagine for a moment a chain, a chain of responsibility, if you will. At one end, there's you bearing the weight of your own safety. But as the chain extends, it links you to your colleagues, your supervisors, your clients, and the broader community. Each link is vital. Each link depended on the strength and integrity of the others. Now picture a weak link in that chain. Perhaps it's a failure to properly secure a scaffold or a momentary lapse in concentration while operating heavy machinery. Whatever form it takes, that weak link threatens not just the individual responsible, but everyone in its orbit. It jeopardizes lives, livelihoods, and the very fabric of trust upon which our industry is built. But here's the thing, just as a weak link can compromise safety, so too can a strong one fortify it. By embracing your role as a guardian of safety, by holding yourself accountable for your actions and their consequences, you become a beacon of strength in that chain. You set an example for others to follow inspiring a culture of vigilance, of care, of unwavering commitment to the well-being of all. So, what does personal accountability look like in practice? It means conducting thorough safety inspections before work begins, identifying hazards before they have a chance to cause harm. It means speaking up when you see something that doesn't look right, even if it means momentarily stepping out of your comfort zone. It means taking the time to mentor newer colleagues, imparting not just technical knowledge, but a deep-seated respect for the sanctity of life and limb. Above all, personal accountability means recognizing that safety is not a box to be checked or a rule to be followed. It's a mindset, a way of being in the world, it's about treating every day, every task, as an opportunity to reaffirm your commitment to yourself, to your colleagues, and to the broader community. In closing, let me leave you with this thought. In the construction industry, safety is not just a goal to be achieved. 
It's a journey, an ongoing process of learning, adapting, and evolving. And as we embark on that journey together, let us never forget the power we hold in our hand, the power to protect, to preserve, and to build a future where safety is not just a priority, but a way of life. All right, boys and girls, listen, if you heard some banging around and noise, I got a three-year-old grandson upstairs. He's uh, he's having a heck of a time at three. You got a lot of energy, and that boy has got some energy. So if you hear some banging around, that's him running around upstairs. Anyway, hey, listen, thanks for stopping by. And safety is something that you, you just can't keep to yourself. Safety is something that you share. And, and, and as you develop a, a safety culture within your company, it, it'll, it'll just come naturally. New people will be trained in the way that you want your company to operate. All this stuff is all about peer pressure, how you get your people to behave, not making them behave, but teaching them the path, teaching, giving them the information they need, the knowledge they need, the training they need to make good decisions in the field and then have open lines of communication. If they run across something they don't quite understand or don't grasp, be there, work it out with them. And, and you'll see that when you do that, take that step to work with them and make ensure their safety, that, that, that it'll snowball and everybody will fall in line willingly and, and produce a safety culture that's, uh, that's uh, safe, timely, and efficient. Anyway, I'm gonna call it a wrap. I appreciate everybody stopping by. Make sure you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when new videos are released. And uh, also share, share this video. You can use this video as a toolbox safety topic. Uh, just make sure that you have a sign in sheet. Uh, put the date on the sign in sheet, what video you watched, where you found the video and then have all your team members sign it, indicating that they watched the video. And that can be your toolbox safety topic video. Uh, anyway, make sure you feel free to comment. Make sure you comment. If you got, if, if, this, if, I, if, if, if you agree with what I say, let me know. If you think I should be handling it different, let me know. If there's something that you would like to see a safety topic created on, let me know. But anyway, we're going to go wrap it up. As always, have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next one. Safety is all on you. It's all on you, man.